What's up everybody? Welcome back. I didn't want it to be like this, but it looks like today is going to be another bummer of a vlog. No. No. We're only on day 10 here. Day 10. And I have an injury report. Yeah. Well, if you watched yesterday's vlog, you know that I had a three and a half mile race pace workout to do. And I was... I was apprehensive about it because I haven't committed into my brain and, and just accepted that I'm going to rule this workout and I'm going to hit race pace because I have a pretty ambitious race pace for myself and that would be eight and a half minute miles. Granted, that might not be ambitious for some people, but to me, that is a pretty fast pace. So nonetheless, I went out there, I set my watch to give me an alarm if I was doing 930 miles anything above a 930 mile that would be my limit so I had to pick up the pace and roll with it so that gives me some room because obviously I'm not doing race pace I'm not doing a hundred percent the race pace that I want which is which would be an 830 so give me a little room give me a little room I wasn't going completely absurd out you know second thing second thing I tried to do to help me achieve that race pace goal was to hit up Spotify. And I'll, I'll link or I'll show you how to do that with Spotify because I think that's a huge tool. That's a really, really great tool for me. For me anyway, like you might not care about music and your headphones pumping and keeping you on beat, but I am a, music, a musician. I am a musician, even though I can't apparently say the word. And when I hear a song, I automatically get on tempo and just start going with it like that. So what I did was, instead of starting my run and letting Spotify find the tempo, which is something I usually do, I just hit it right at 160 and let it roll. So 160 beats per minute, just kept rolling with it, staying on tempo, kept me in the range. I was running right at a nine minute mile and I was happy with that. I was feeling good. In fact, mile one went, came and went so easily without feeling winded and just overexerted at all. I was like super jacked. I was like, dude, I'm going to do this. I really am. I'm going to do the entire three and a half miles at race pace. I was stoked. Mile two comes around and that is the kicker. That's the kicker. Once you, once you pass that first mile, it's easy to say, hey, I'm going to do 10 miles on mile one. It's easy to say that. Anybody can do that. You start running and all of a sudden you feel great and you're like, yeah, I could do anything. And then like mile two rolls around all of a sudden you're like, oh, I don't know if I could do two and a half miles. But that wasn't the case. I hit mile two and I'm rolling. Well, I didn't finish mile two, but I finished mile one and I was into mile two and I'm rolling through it. I'm like, I'm feeling great. I wasn't overly winded. My cardio was like on point. I'm doing great. I'm like, I'm ecstatic and thinking I'm really going to do this. This is going to work. And about mile two and a half ish, the Achilles, the Achilles started getting me. And I was like, okay, maybe if I just kind of, let me think about this. If I, uh, hmm. How can I get over this? It's gonna, it's just gonna loosen up. It's gonna loosen up. I know, it's gonna loosen up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna keep going. It's gonna loosen up. I'm gonna be fine. It's just, it's just still warming up. Yeah, that's what it is. It's warming up. No, no. Mile two and a half-ish. I stopped for a quick second. Gave it a little stretch, you know, slowly leaned into it, gave it a little stretch, you know, thinking, all right, all right, it still hurts, it's not really working out too good, whatever, got back into it, kept rolling, I'm still at the nine, nine minute pace, mind you, you know, I already finished up my one, my one ended up being at 852, so I was, I was stoked, go through, mile two and a half, get to mile two and three quarters, and I was like, dude, I'm not, I'm not gonna do this. This is gonna hurt me bad if I keep going. So I stopped, stopped for a minute, paused my workout. There was a curb right there. I started doing some more little stretching on it, this, that, and the other. And I waited, I, did, I didn't just like do a couple stretches and roll. This was like, I was gonna wait one or two minutes, which I know is kind of a cheat if you think about doing the entire workout at a race pace. 
that kind of sort of defeats the purpose in my mind anyway you know you're not doing a continuous three and a half miles at race pace to really test that cardio to really test your body's endurance personally i would love to do it that way but this is what i had to do two and three quarter miles in i stopped did a little bit more stretching on the achilles let everything try to just get to a good point and it just didn't work it like locked up on me and uh i know the achilles is a tendon and it doesn't lock up muscles lock up right right yeah anyway so two and three quarters in did the stretch it made it maybe worse maybe worse could have been possibly so what i did was i limped my way on back home and uh you know finished up that second mile i want to say it was like a 10 almost an 11 minute mile which i was still pretty stoked about because i i walked a quarter mile I literally walked okay i limped a quarter mile and then you saw the or if you didn't go check it out um but the aftermath you know i was super bummed and i still am because uh i came home took a put an ice pack on it for a little while took a hot bath i don't know which way you're supposed to go with things you know is it hot or is it cold which which one's better I'm not really sure i think that kind of depends on who you ask um put some biofreeze on it and wrapped it in the ace bandage and just went to sleep so this morning was the it was the true test and um as you can probably see from the video i am kind of bobbing and weaving around here so i do have some mobility in it it is still good and i don't know if this is a plus or a minus i'm, I'm on the fence about this but it don't think it is my achilles now i know that sounds like bizarre i've just been dwelling on the achilles the entire time but what is actually hurting is at the very very bottom end of my calf muscle it's like the attachment point of the achilles all up in there it's like pretty deep in there i feel it and it's just a tight knot type of feeling and every time i i stretch that area it just it's uh, uh. so that is my only potential ray of sunshine here if this just happens to be a tight calf muscle that is straining that Achilles at that attachment point, that might be a lot better because I've had Achilles trouble, like legit Achilles are trouble. But what in the world did I just say? Yeah. Anyway, I've had legit Achilles trouble in the past. And the only way to heal that kind of stuff was just straight up rest. And when I'm trying to do a 10K and I am definitely not physically prepared yet to the point that I want to be, Obviously, I could walk at a 10K, no problem. I mean, but where's the fun in that? Where's the competition type aspect of that? Nothing. So, that's not what I want to do. I'm still pretty early in the workout phase. And I'm optimistic. I think, I think this is going to work. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that i am pretty much okay i'm super bummed out about the injury because i know i need to skip today and i really didn't want to skip anything so uh if i find something that i'm gonna do today that will avoid hurting or re-injuring or worsening the injury i'll let you know I'll let you know tomorrow so please stay tuned and if this is your first time watching thank you very much don't forget to like share subscribe all that good things um, but definitely subscribe because if you subscribe you will be notified i am still going to be posting daily vlogs and i do still intend to fight through this and figure out how i can be race ready if you have any ideas any tips tricks suggestions that could potentially help me out in this situation that would surely surely be appreciated so again thank you all for watching i'll see you tomorrow